Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make your terminal text go from this to this in Godot 4. This is using something known as rich text and BB code. If you've been exposed to HTML and CSS, this may seem familiar to you. To print rich text, you just simply type print underscore rich, and here you can add in all your tags. Then we can go and add some text in here. Let's do subscribe, which you should do, and let's start by making it bold. So add two square brackets at the beginning, type in B for bold, Copy this, paste it at the end of your text, and make sure to add in a closing slash. Then it prints out subscribe in bold. Now let's add some color to it. You can type color, copy this, put it surrounding subscribe, make sure it's within your bold, or bold can be within color. Make sure to add the slash. We can set color to any color we would like. This can either be a hex code or just the name of a color, so I'll just type red, and you'll see it's red. We can also add a background color. So I'm just going to change this to a background color. You could have both background color and color, but I'm just going to change this for now. So type BG color. And you'll see now it looks more like a subscribe button. Let's go ahead and change the font. So add in the font tag, set it to be to wherever you have your font at. So I will type in yt sans.otf and copy font, put it at the end and make sure to close it. You'll see we have a different font. And just like in normal print functions, we're not limited to just one string. We can separate it by adding commas and then adding in quotations within those commas. So now we can combine multiple strings. So let's say goal 10K and you'll see that it combines them. And this can help with organization. Simply press enter right after each comma. And now we have our text separated from our tags. Some other cool things we can do is use the center tag to center the text. We can also add an effect like tornado to get cool effects on the text. And one of my favorite things about print rich is you can do more than just text. That's right, we can add in images. So let's create a new print rich function. Let's type in the image tag. Let's go ahead and close it right away. And within the image, you need to type in the path to your image. So I'll do glogo.png. And if we press play, you'll see that it will show the image, but it is quite large. So to set the width of it, simply type image equals, and let's do size 100. Now you see, we have our image. And we can go ahead and center it to have it match up with our text. Additionally, rich text is not limited to the terminal. We can add in a rich text label. Let's go ahead and scale it. Make sure that BB code is enabled. And now let's paste in some of our code from before. And you'll see that it works as a label. Now, it is good practice to make sure that you close your tags. However, you don't necessarily need to. You can actually go without the closing tags and it should still run fine. However, this could cause issues in instances where you need to pass in values inside of the two tags. Hopefully this video is a good start for you. However, this does not fully cover everything that rich text can do. I highly recommend checking out the documentation, which will be linked in the description down below. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.